Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how I deal with my first ever work termination. I just really want to talk about my little process. My situation is quite different from, I would assume, majority of people. But before I really talk about the process, I just really want to clarify why I feel the way I feel. And so first of all, I got my work permit uh, last year in September, I believe. I've been living in the US for two years. And so finally last year, I got my work permit. I was looking for office jobs, but oh, market is so tough. I was like in social media, office manager, office man manager assistant, and it's really, really hard to find anything. My degree is not American. I do not have any American uh, work experience except my internship that I've done here. And so last year I learned that my dad had cancer, which did have in, an impact on me. And in January, I basically had to fly to Belgium and my dad passed away. And when I came back, I just realized I'm not in a mental state to look for office job. I just don't want to explain why I deserve that job, why I'm better than any other person. Like it really changed my perspective on just the value of life. And so I thought, okay, let me actually go back to things that I know, which is retail. I've done retail for many years. I know retail. And so yeah, I got this job. I've been there since March. So for three and a half months, four months. And now about my termination. So basically after my vacation, we had a monthly team meeting and uh, after the meeting, I hour and a half to be exact, after the meeting, I got an email saying that I've been terminating, they were not happy with my communication style and stuff like that, which I was surprised about because I never got feedback, there was never a performance review, there was not even a conversation, no one ever mentioned to me that they had concerns or they were not happy. So yeah, I was really, really surprised. And fun fact, I was actually meeting with my ex-colleague at the workplace again. We were supposed to go and get lunch. So as I parked, I read that email. Luckily I had my keys for work, so I just went there and you know, I gave the keys. So firing by email is already like, <laughs> what we are right so but i'm not the one to hide behind anything so i just went there sold about my feelings which i kind of regret i don't think i should have invested any time and explanation into that the funny thing is that obviously as i mentioned happened after my vacation via the email and in a span of two to three weeks uh, before my vacation i had not one but two conversations with with them and they never mentioned those things to me and my strong belief is that they wanted to fire me for some time my employment was at will so if you don't know what it means it means there's no contract you don't sign anything and they basically can fire you just because it doesn't even have to be a reason and same thing goes to you you don't have to explain why you want to leave you can leave at the spot you don't have to give two weeks notice i think in north carolina in general you don't have to give two weeks notice but when you have employment at will they're like nothing that keeps you there and same goes for your employer basically again describing those things there was no performance review, no feedback. I was not even aware for even 1% that was happening and they didn't like certain things. And then the way it happened, obviously I cannot be mad at that. And another reason why I cannot be mad or upset about this is because I already wanted to quit, honestly. I was not happy and I realized that I want to do something else, but that time really kind of helped me to understand that and regroup. So yeah, that kind of was, honestly a blessing and I started looking for another job somewhere like mid June and when I got this job I gave myself a year to stay there and again to let myself just to regroup and breathe in breathe out because when you lose your parent it can be quite tough so yeah that's just what happened but here is my process and how I go about it and obviously my situation is a little bit different for me it was very easy to lose a job you know I did not truly depend on it it's like I don't know getting the band-aid from your skin yeah it kind of hurts but whatever you just throw it away so and it's it, it's done it's done there's nothing to do about it and so i was uh, shocked for like four to five hours then i became frustrated because i felt like that was really unfair because of the fact that i was never provided feedback or performance review i'm really open to communicate openly and discuss things with people so for me it was frustrating that they can weave their own story now and i cannot even say a word and so my process is this firstly give yourself some time to process what happened because you will go through a range of emotions it will be anger frustration maybe sadness and for me i wasn't really sad again i didn't even cry like <laughs> which was 
really interesting i was relieved and happy and i was never fired in my entire life and i was asking like my friend like is it normal i, I was never fired is it okay that i'm happy am i supposed to feel guilty for that but yeah anyway so you will go through different emotions and yes most likely you will also feel happy or relieved especially if it was you know taking a toll on the way you felt so give yourself some time to experience those emotions and understand them and then try to release them give yourself some time to heal even if it means just binge watching netflix or movies going on a, a different hikes eating food a lot of it if you can go to you know a different state different town do that travel a little bit do the things that make you happy and really make your soul happy for me it's making art reading writing creating so give yourself a few days to a week to really accept what happened and let your soul heal from from that the next step for me is start planning and regrouping and really setting firm boundaries and realizing what i really want i had a sudden realization of like i actually do deserve better like i want this salary i want health insurance i want this and that and because i know my skills i know who i am i know my level of professionalism so i think i deserve those things and i'm not the one that just settles down and doesn't want to grow or learn new things that realization really made me happy and i felt like the work that i put before that like journaling affirmations meditations really really helped me in this situation as well but yes have concrete and smart goals for yourself and write them down do not overwhelm yourself because if you write too much you'll be just spread all over and i think that can get confusing just set a few goals for yourself and try to get yourself out of the comfort zone yes i said healing and do what makes you happy but i also believe that we as human beings have to push ourselves out of the comfort zone a little bit just so that we can learn more about ourselves for me is going more to the gym and doing certain things certain projects that I'm extremely scared about but I feel like my soul is calling for that and so I just have to do that even if it will not be my like side hustle or my job it's still like very cool for me make sure you plan what you want to do and start doing new things those things can be also very easy change the way you take care of your skin change the way you sleep change the way I don't know your exercise so bigger things, maybe you want to learn a new language. So just go for it, honestly, go for it. Don't let yourself to fall into the hole too much. You are in the new part of your life, so it's already quite a challenge. So by letting yourself fall down, 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 you don't want to get more confusing where it will be like, what am I supposed to do now? Let yourself heal and then move to planning and executing and giving yourself some space to experience new thing and number three in that is uh, just accept your situation as it is i know i mentioned that in the first step but i think when the time passes you are really able to truly accept the wide range of it all and the whatever happened and so it will be way easier to see the positive things that are coming from that for me it's the whole aftermath is honestly positive for myself as i mentioned i felt happy i felt relieved on top of that now i have a little bit more free time to finish my project and that really really helps me and then obviously after you accept the fact of what happened you can just let go don't keep it let it go and from my own experience when we let go of the things and people and opportunities that create space obviously for new things and that's so 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 important because again in my personal experience when bad things happen when bad experiences happen when you feel down after that there obviously comes a moment of hopelessness but after that truly great things life-changing things happen and it will all lead you to your own true self at least it worked in my life like that i just cannot explain it and so i can be frustrated at this point or sad or mad or angry because i know that it just opened a new path new doors for my personal improvement for learning new things for learning new skills for meeting new people for having new opportunities and really redirect my life one more time i know that life can be tough but whatever things happen in your life they all lead 
to your authentic true self and for the opportunity of learning who you really are and this is my own outlook i'm not sad i am happy and relieved and more than that i am extremely grateful and i am hopeful and i know who i am i know that every morning i wake up and look in the mirror at myself with an open heart and honestly i'm just a human being myself but i know that i try my best to be the best i can so in my world it's reconnecting to your higher self and working on yourself and another thing that i noticed is that the moment you start setting firm boundaries and you start saying no and you start respecting yourself and loving yourself and giving yourself things that you deserve people will really treat you as a threat or they will look at you differently or they start saying weird things about you and you know what it's fine it's not your problem it's really not your concern and my main point in all of this is that if this situation happens to you just stay focused give yourself some time to heal and just accept and realize what happened do not believe anyone who tells you that you didn't deserve certain things that you're bad that you're this that you're that just focus on the positive aspects of it all and it will pass but i do believe that better things will be coming and so i really hope that you will go through this period of change and redirection with grace and hope and gratitude because it's very important to maintain this attitude toward change and just remember that when things leave your life it creates space for new things and that's very exciting because despite the fact that we as individual people want to believe that we do not have power over our lives and we are not in charge of anything this is just so not true you're really in charge of your feelings emotions your actions your life your behavior the way you think what you eat how you dress what makeup you have how you do your hair so there's so many things that we're in charge of and when situations like that happen and we're giving the opportunity to bring something new into our life it's so cool for us to be like hey i want to do this so i will do that and this is how it works for me it also really influenced my understanding of my personality and how i want to represent myself how i want to look how i want to dress so in overall it was great it was a great experience for me i know it's not for everybody and my process is quite easy it's literally three things and i really see that my approach really influenced me in a positive way i feel hopeful grateful and full of energy for new ideas and i really really hope you feel the same way because you deserve so much better you're a great person love yourself first set your boundaries firm and just kind of surrender go of the flow while having your plan and bringing the changes and actually executing your plan yeah that was my video everything happens for a reason if you think it's not the reason will be revealed to you sooner or later believe that and i see you in the next video bye